Hey Pitmasters, this is a special occasion. Look at this. This is the first time on this YouTube channel, and for me personally, to have a size steak like this. Wagyu, highest quality. A5, 10 plus, Japanese bread, Japanese raised, Japanese butchered, Wagyu steak. This thing is absolutely beautiful. And if we take a closer look at this, we can clearly see that there's different amount of marbling. Here on the outside, we've got high intensity marbling. And in the center, we also have a lot of marbling, but it's further apart. We can clearly see as well that we have some hard pieces here. And on the outside, we have a lot of fat. This is an absolutely beautiful steak, but we're going to make it even better. What did you pay for this? You don't want to know. Yeah, this is with a high chance that my wife is watching this. I did pay for it myself. Uh, it's not sponsored and it cost me 350 euros so that's kind of like uh Ooh, you're that's, in trouble. yeah this is the most i ever spent on a steak this is crazy yeah this is a really a special occasion to get the best eating experience we got to take this steak apart and it really sounds crazy i know you would rather throw it on a grill that will be the instinct that, that comes out of us to, to start grilling this thing over a hot fire, but we're not going to. We're going to treat it the Japanese way. With respect, we're going to take it apart, separate all the different pieces, and then grill them up se separately. And this way you're gonna get the best experience. So we'll start with that. First, I'm going to start with taking off the hard fat. And we're not throwing this away. We're gonna use this later on for our dish. Now this shiny part that encases the muscle you can't eat, it's just too tough and it's going to take away from the ultimate eating experience of Wagyu. So we'll take that off. Now we're going to take off the most beautiful part, the high intensity marbling. We have taken the steak apart and we've ended up with the best result that we can have. We separated all the cuts of meat and this is going to provide us with the ultimate Wagyu steak eating experience. We got our high marbling pieces of Wagyu then we got the core, which is absolutely fantastic. We got the hard parts, which we basically can't eat, but we can use for making other things. And then we got the hard fat, which we are definitely going to be using in other dishes. We'll fire up our Napoleon Rogue. This thing is absolutely fantastic, but it's going to give us that Japanese tipping yaki experience. We got a plancha set in there, and that's going to provide us with a mild sizzling and searing heat. We'll light it up. And I got two burners on. If I want to, I can slow down the heat, but let's crank it up at first. I'll start by putting on these pieces. We can't eat them, they're just too tough. We're going to put them on the plancha. The fat will render down, and that's perfect to season our plancha with. Now look at our beautiful steak. We got a big gap in there. We'll put on a little bit of butcher rope just to bind it all together. Now before we start grilling, Marshall, I want to challenge you. Okay. We're going to make a little bit of carpaccio out of this piece, which is basically not good for grilling, but it's, it's going to be delicious. And I want you to try it raw. So I'm slicing it as thin as possible so it will melt in your mouth. If you put this on a warm hand, it will melt. How's that? Is this the best carpaccio you ever had or what? It's really good. Our fat is done rendering. I can hear it. It starts popping and sizzling. It's time to be grilling our steak. Unlike normal, we're going to season this steak twice. We're going to season it once up front with a really fine table salt. And that's going to be the base seasoning. And then afterwards, we're going to put some salt on the plate. So each individual piece can be seasoned afterwards. This is our table salt, really fine. And this is our finishing salt. Really coarse, not that salty, but very tasty. We are going to start up with a piece out of this cut that has the most intense marbling because this is going to give us the ultimate eating experience. And we don't want to have that at the end of the dish where we already had a lot of Wagyu experience. We'll place it on the grill and let this start searing making sure that we got enough fat on our wagyu steaks so we can get the beautiful crust man i can't wait 
Our steaks are almost done and I want to prepare our serving board. So we're going to put on a little bit of fresh ground pepper. Now we'll do the same for our finishing salt. Now normally I would say let these steaks rest so the fluids can go back in, but this thing consists of almost only fat. So there's so little fluid, you're not gonna notice the difference. That's why we're going to slice into it right now to get that maximum out of the warmth that's in that steak. The experience of putting my knife through this steak is crazy. It's so tender. I'm not applying any pressure, it's just falling apart. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, do it. Okay, let's do this. Beautiful. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. There we go, bite size. It's gone, it just melted. It's a good thing all steaks do not taste like this. And that there's like the God among steaks. Fantastic, you know. As a pit master, you just Finishing off what everybody else started, you know, the, the breeder, the, the farm, and in the end, the butcher, and then I just get to cook it. That's it. Humbling. Mm. If you want one, you better get one before it's gone. I'm waiting. There you go. <laughs> that is good, huh? Wow, what an amazing steak. Now we'll get to the second part of this video and that's the recipe that I'm going to give to you. And it's going to be less of an experience, but it's going to be more of a flavor palette that works really, really well together. Remember that we got these big chunks of fat. We're going to use one of these to put on our plancha. We cleaned it all up, all the old fat is gone, everything that's burned is gone. We're going to make some new beef fat. While we wait for that beef at the render down, I got some spring onions, which we're going to chop up. The top parts we're going to slice fine and save them for later on in the cooking process. We're going to cut up the bottom part and we're going to use it to create flavor. We got some Chinese cabbage. We're going to cut that fine as well. Now we'll cut some shiitake mushrooms. Our fat is rendered down. We got a nice puddle of wagyu beef. Time to start grilling our vegetables. First, we will put on our spring onion, then our cabbage, and finally our mushrooms. To this, we'll add a splash of mirin, put the lid on, and let it steam. I've got some pre-cooked rice, we'll put this on the plancha as well. When the vegetables are done, take off the lid and mix it all together. Look, we had that little piece of wacky fat in there all the time, we can take it out now. To the rice, we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Imagine putting Wagyu beef fed in your fried rice. Imagine that. <laughs> Next up in our recipe, we're going to cut fine the leftover beef fed, that hard fed. We're going to crispen it up. I'm going to add it as a topping to our rice. And now our steak. Look at this thing. An absolute beauty. Time to season it with a little bit of salt and then put it on the grill. Wow. Our steak is done. It's time to take it off the grill. Look at that sear. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the bubbles. I'm going to take it off. Put it on my serving board. This is my serving board. It's not a serving board. But how do you, how can people even hear the difference? Well, serving it board. It looks like a serving board. But it's, it's a sir, it is a serving board. Let's slice our, <laughs> slice our steak. And we want to go really thin because this steak can be overpowering. The crust is fantastic. Look at how juicy that is. The fat rendering off. What, what do you think? Should we try the rice first or the steak first? What do you think? I think steak first. Look at that. And now we have an absolutely fantastic cut of beef. I'm so happy I cut it up into pieces because this looks fantastic and this is the way it should be. Not with all the stuff in there that shouldn't be in there. This is the perfect eating experience. It 
it's just crazy. I had a big bite, but when you bite into this, it kind of like, it fills up your mouth like you bite into it and all the fat and juices come out like whoa. And it just, it's like a beef explosion in your mouth. The flavor's absolutely fantastic. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of finishing salt to the board. I'm just gonna dip in the second one. Fantastic ride. What a way to start recording the first videos of the new year. Oh. It is so tender. It's so moist and juicy. Because of the fat of the beef, you need something to balance that out, to absorb the flavors of the fat, the, the richness. So we cooked up this rice. Let's give that a try. That is good. Really, really tasty. It's not like the fried rice that I used to have, like with bacon in it and everything, but it's kind of light with a crunchy. Fantastic. Really goes well with our Wagyu. I bought this cut of Wagyu with my own money to celebrate the first video that we are recording for this year. And 2018 was a crazy year. Um, I had a lot of fun, but we had a lot of good things happening. 2019 is going to be epic as well. And to celebrate that, it kind of deserves a steak like this, but it really is a big amount of money to spend on one steak. You got to do it at least once in your life and enjoy the peep out of it. Let me know if you would spend that amount of money on a Wagyu steak for a special occasion. I would love to know. Leave this video a big thumbs up and a comment down below. A big thank you to all our patrons and our YouTube members. See you guys next time. Until then, it's makkelijk and keep on grilling.